Allen, right? Yeah, I'm Steve. Nice. What's your first name? Trent. That's right. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Chris Finn and Devin Lyons here at the Turnstone Center on Court 1 in Fort Wayne, Indiana, covering the 2018 Power Soccer National Tournament. We have four divisions, the Premier Cup, the Champions Cup, the President's Cup, the Founders Cup, all going on at one time today. Devin, we got the Turnstone Flyers versus the Southern California Vaqueros. What do you think of the match coming up here today? I think it'll be pretty good, uh, even matched um, teams. Um, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a hard game fought, bloodshed, and, and uh, so yeah, it'll be a good game. Well, we hope there's not too much blood on the floor so we keep them clean for the rest of the game, Devin. Uh, yeah, let's that's, that's hope not. <laughs> and we got the Turnstone Flyers kicking off. We got David Dowling, number four, with the ball. Going over to number six, Daniel Vordran. And on the other side, we have number 13, Chance Now. And in goal, we have Luke Labas for the Turnstone Flyers. And on the other side of the ball for the Southern California Vaqueros, we got number 10, Kyle Ornelas. In the middle, Steve Everett, who's also got the goalkeeper, Penny on. And then we have number 54, Kelly, Kelly Wong. And Gordon Cardona on the far side, number 68. Steve Everett with the ball, battering, battling with Daniel Verdan. Everett kicking the ball out, out of bounds, off of Verdan, SoCal ball. Steve Everett passing the ball in to number 10, Kyle Ornillis. Dowling dribbling it down, battling with Everett in the corner, trying to get position to get the ball across. Off of Everett for a corner kick. Turnstone's got a scoring opportunity here, Devin. What do you think is going to happen? I watched the ball try and go in the, through the center and then maybe go over to by 13 and, and then him shooting it in from there across the floor. So. All right, Dowling's winding up, sizing up the defense here. 
looking for a shot. Going all the way across. Oh. And Chance now is unable to get the guard on goal. Off of him for SoCal Ball. Ball's coming into Everett. Everett against Dowling. Dowling over to now. Back to Dowling. And it's a two on one. Two on one call against the Turnstone Flyers. Everett was cutting off all the angles on both players and getting a little close. Everett with the kick on the free kick up right to Dowling. And we have Cardona blocking off Dowling. Dowling getting around Cardona. Dowling taking the ball down the court. Ever putting pressure on, trying to keep some space. Ever cuts the ball off. Bordan against Everett, driving to the corner. Ever getting out of position. Bordrain doing his best to get the ball around the keeper. Gets it around Kelly Wong. Ever makes a save. Kelly Wong regains possession, kicks it out of bounds off of Bordrain. Turnstone has an opportunity here. The ball is near the top of the box. Dowling, again, sizing up the defense. Takes the spin. Kicks it. Tries to split the defense. Deflects it up to Kelly Wong. Over to Cardona. Cardona and Wong mixing communication. Cardona taking the ball down. And Fondran just lets the ball roll out of bounds for a goal kick for Turnstone Flyers. Looks like Turnstone is trying to put the pressure on right away to the SoCal Valqueros, Devin. Yes, they're trying to do everything they can to, to get them off guard here. Ornelas got caught with encroaching within the five meters, so they're going to retake the goal kick. Fordran over to Dowling, Dowling. Ornelas cuts off Dowling, Dowling gets it away, going against Everett. It don't... Delayed two on one call. Look to give the advantage. That's one thing that some of the referees are doing doing their best to give to the offensive offensive players here is allow that advantage. If a foul is committed, but the player maintains and advances the ball down the court, they call advantage and don't call the foul right away. Dowling taking the ball into the goal. Dowling against Everett. Trying to work the ball around. Everett, Dowling. He's got a teammate behind him for both the Vaqueros and the Flyers. Off of Kelly Wong. Dowling setting up for the corner kick. Looking like the same setup with Vondran up on top. Now on the far side. Watch 13 get this ball and try to score again. He almost had it last time around. Straight across Vondran. Jumps the pass. Looking to put it into the near post, and Everett is there to stop the ball. And Turnstone Flyers get the ball near the top of the goal area. Looking to shoot the gap. Bordran looking to secure some space for Dowling to kick the run. Backs up. Over to Now. In the goal. Goal for Chance Now. All the way from Dowling on the kick in. And here we got the replay. Look at Dowling. The key here is Bordran cuts back out of the gap allowing Dowling to kick the ball through the hole over to now. What do you think of that Devin? That was a pretty good try. Uh, you know they, they uh, almost had it the first time around and they did it just there perfectly. Now it's one nothing. Flyers are ahead. Vaqueros kick off. Everett advancing the ball against Dowling. Dowling intercepts. They're battling Dowling working his way around Everett down court. Controlling the ball. Working it down. Everett doing his best to cut the ball back against Dowling. Getting a little bit better position here. Dowling off of Everett for another opportunity for an MK battery kick in from the sideline. Dowling sizing up. Fordran looking to secure that space for Dowling. Kicks her across. Oh no. Oh. Goes to the near post. Trying to catch the goalie off guard. And goal! Again for David Dowling scoring on the near post. Catching Ornelius out of position off of the first shot. And now the second shot puts it right behind him and into that near post. Dowling just had such great awareness catching Ornelius off his line 
off of the near post and able to score that goal. It's not two nothing. Flyers. Everett taking the ball out for the kick. Bannon against Dowling. This is seems to be the battle center position against center position. Ornelius cutting off Dowling. Now get calls for the two on one. Ornelius doing his best to support Everett in battling against Dowling because Dowling seems to be controlling that ball. Devin. Yeah, he has a good ball handling. Uh, you know, we go down the court. Now watch, watch the Flyers come here and. There he goes. Now, over to Vordran. Vordran dribbling down, kicks it back, looking for now. Vordran battling against Everett. Everett patiently keeping him out of the goal area. Vordran. He's got, he needs, that's when he should have had to behind me. Yeah, driving up the, up the line, off of Vordran. Everett maintaining control for the Southern Vicaros. Everett looking for Anelius. Do you, do you agree that the Vicaros, um, you know, they want to play slow and fast? Yeah. The Vicaros are looking to just maintain control here. Bordran driving down, looking for the big kick. Kelly Wong blocking, making a second shot block. Everett making a third shot block. Turnstone really putting the pressure on. Kelly Wong just stops the ball from going in the near post on a shot from Dowling. This Turns is a goal kick. Sorry about that, bud. Turnstone Flyers really putting the pressure on. And we got a Biogen corner kick here from Kevin Dowling. You think they're going to do the same play here, Devin? Yes, I do believe so. Cordran looks to take the space. Ornelas blocks the ball up court. Sorry, oh. sorry about interrupting you earlier in, uh, too. So. <laughs> uh, Devin, here, we're, all, we're all excited for this power soccer national tournament. The game is proving to be exciting. Turnstone Flyers putting a lot of pressure on the SoCal Vaqueros for Dran. Kicking the ball off of Ornelius. Out of bounds. Turnstone ball. As we come to nine minute uh, in the first half, it's still 2 nothing Flyers. For Dran taking the kick in to Dowling. Dowling putting the ball between the two defenders. And yes, we get, do get called for the two-on-one. For those of you who don't know, two-on-one foul is when two players from the same team are within three meters of the ball against one player from the other team. And there was a classic demonstration of them being too close together against one player around the perimeter of the ball. Now this strategy is, is going to be a little different. Now almost, if he could get a proper angle on that ball, he could have snuck it in the far post. Instead, it goes off of the SoCal Vaqueros. They clear the ball. Or, no, it went off of Turnstone Flyers. It looks like it's going to be the Southern Vaqueros ball here. Free kick presented by MK Batteries. Steve Everett looking to go to Ornelas. Ornelas taking the ball up, dialing, pressuring, and kicking the ball off Ornelas. Now watch him do a little something different here. Or maybe go across or maybe get uh, Dow Dowling here. Bordran to Dowling, Dowling against Ornelas. Passing it over to Bordran. Back to Dowling, Dowling with the shot ever, blocking the shot. Ornelas up to the substitute, Chase Martinez. Chase Martinez off of Dowling, battling Dowling. Chase Martinez back to Everett. Everett battling Dowling. Dowling. Ornelas cuts it off. Dowling cuts off the pass to Martinez. Out of bounds. Flyers ball. Flyers ball. Vordran. Number six kicking the ball into David Dowling. Number four. Dowling up the court. Battling against Ornelas. Ornelas getting around. Getting position. Dowling looking to drive it up the sideline. Off of Ornelas. Ornelas off of Dowling. What a nifty little move by Ornelas. Keeping the ball inbounds and getting it off Dowling instead of Dowling off of Ornelas. Ornelas all the way over to Martinez. Martinez off the back of his chair. Just over pursued the ball slightly and wasn't able to keep it inbounds. Turnstone ball for Bordran. Bordran looking for Dowling. 
Ornelas on the SoCal Vaqueros. We're going to put some pressure on. Cuts off the pass. Ornelas to Dowling. Dowling battling against Everett. Everett over to Ornelas. Ornelas looking to pass. Looking to move. Moving up against the SoCal Vaqueros and out of bounds. Almost was able to get off the back of David Dowling there. Now, watch them have a find a big gap to go through as the uh, pass ball to Dowling. Vordran taking the ball into Dowling again. Give and go over to Vordran. Vordran cutting up the center of the court against Ornelas. Vordran maintaining. Ornelas takes the ball away over to Everett. Everett, Dowling takes the ball away now moving up the court. Getting, it looks like a three in the goal area. A referee allowing advantage. And Vordran, goal! They had three defenders in the goal area here. And then they split the defense. Referee allows advantage by waving his arms forward. And Vordran is able to push that ball into the far corner of the goal. Pass from Dowling. And now the Turnstone Flyers are developing a commanding lead here. 3-0 at the 12 minute and 30 second mark in the game. Everett battling against Vordran. Vordran against Everett. Vordran dribbling down the court. Now is waiting, waiting for that pass to put it in the far post. Vordran dragging the ball down against Everett. Vordran, Kelly Wong knocks the ball over to the side, stops Vordran. Vordran still battling. Cuts it back. Wong passes the ball out. Vordran puts it back in. Almost splits the defense for Vordran. SoCal Vaqueros cutting it off. Leaving the near post open there. Vordran off of Everett, out of bounds for a Biogen corner kick. Watch Dowling here. Uh, he sees that gap right there by the 13 of his teammate of Chance now. Watch him pass the Chance and Chance score right here. Dowling sizing up the defense. Waiting for the referee to move. Takes the kick. Over to now. Now wasn't able to get the angle to the far post on the goal. Just as you said, Devin, that he was going for the power far post over to Chance now to look to score that fourth goal for the Turnstone Flyers. Now they have another opportunity at the top of the goal area. They're going to do the same thing right here, but on the other side of the court. David Dowling sizing it up for Dran. Turns out now puts the ball right in between the defenders. Steve Everett with an amazing turnaround save as the ball was just about to cross the line. What a save by Steve Everett. Ornelas battling the ball, pushing the ball out against Dowling, controlling the ball, moving it up court, now against Fordran. And just isn't able to catch up to the ball. Turnstone flyer ball on a kick in here. David Dowling lining up for the kick. This is where, if I was Dowling here, I'd keep doing what he's doing, passing it across the floor. Okay, now they changed the position now. So it's white ball. Uh, Vaqueros had the ball on the side kick. Oh no, it's passing into Everett. Everett batting against Dowling again. Dowling moving the ball up court, advancing down, moving Everett into the corner. Fordran putting the ball across to now. Everett intercepts. Everett's moving up, battling against Fordran, doing everything he can to get that ball out of the Southern Vaqueros end. Ball off of Everett for another Biogen four corner kick. We got two main sponsors here of Power Soccer. We have Biogen and MK Battery who are top-notch partners with the United States Power Soccer Association and sponsoring the 2018 National Power Soccer Tournament. Dowling with the Biogen corner kick going up for Dran. Oh, was unable to get the angle on the pass from Dowling and it ricochets off out of bounds. Southern Vaqueros ball in their, on their own corner here, deep in their end. This could be dangerous for the SoCal Vaqueros. Turnstone will look to put a lot of pressure on the ball to see if they can get that ball across the chance now for the goal. Ornelas into his Everett. Dowling. Dowling against Everett. And a two-on-one. Two-on-one. Goalie has the 
two-on-one availability inside its own goalie area, but ever since he was outside, was too close to Kelly Wong and Ornelas. Dowling with the cross-cross, pass across to Chance now. Now was just a little too far forward to receive that pass. But a good idea from David Dowling to go to the far post. Steve Everett taking the ball in here. Puts the ball up off of Bordran. Deflects it in towards the goal. Everett collecting the ball. Looking to get out of his end again. Bordran back to Dowling. Ornelas takes it away. Dowling against Ornelas. Still in bounds. The ball has to be totally across the sideline in order for it to be out of bounds. Dowling keeps it in. Dribbling down court. Looks to get around Everett. Chance now. Rotating out of the corner, allowing Dowling to move into space. Dowling getting around Everett almost. Dowling looking for a pass out, looking for his teammates. Battling against Everett here. Everett able to swing the ball out. Martinez comes up behind the ball, dribbling down court. Can Martinez get around the ball? They keep it in bounds and deflected it towards the goal. He does and just doesn't get enough on it. Goes over the goal line for a goal kick. Luke Lavis got his first almost action there in the goal area against Martinez. He was just shy of getting it in the goal post. Martinez putting pressure on Dowling, kicks it back into the goal. Martinez with a hard foul kick and a foul. A little too much aggressiveness there for Chase Martinez, but he's putting some needed pressure on the Turnstone Flyers to keep SoCal Vaqueros out of their end and finally get some movement, offensive possession down on the Turnstone Flyers. Chase Martinez off. Ball went off of Bondran. It's going to be a corner kick. We have a Biogen corner kick for Steve Everett and the SoCal Vaqueros. The first corner kick of the match for the Vaqueros. Setting up. Looking to capitalize on this goal scoring opportunity and get on the board. Everett looking at the defense, winding up. Dowling cuts off the pass. Dowling dribbles against Ornelas. Ornelas doing his best to keep it in. Dowling turning Ornelas up court. Dribbling the ball down. Ornelas able to cut it back. Nice move. But Dowling gets it back. Pushes it down court, but Everett back to Ornelas. Ornelas battling against Dowling, doing his best to keep it. Dowling moving it down court. Ornelas knocks it out of bounds off of Dowling, or off of Ornelas. Turnstone flyer balls. As we near halftime here, it's still 3 nothing Flyers. As Flyers try to look to score for the final time in the first half before halftime. Bordran, oh, miss kick. Pass Dowling. Chase Martinez gets the ball down and shows a bit of frustration as he had a breakaway again against the keeper from Turnstone Flyers. One-on-one -on -one who just wasn't able to get the right touch on the ball to direct it towards goal and chase it down. Vordran to Dowling. Dowling to Vordran. Give and go down the sideline. Ornelas coming over to Vordran to cut him off. Vordran going by Ornelas. Cuts it back. Kelly Wong with the stop. A second stop off of Kelly Wong. And then touching Vordran as it went out of bounds. And the referee calls it's half time. Half time for the first half of the Southern California Vaqueros versus the Turnstone Flyers. It's 3 nothing Turnstone. What do you think of the game so far, Devin? Uh, I think it's pretty good. It should be a closer game than this, I thought. But uh, just Turnstone, I mean, they're on fire. They, they come out f what they needed to do. Uh, Vaqueros here need to play a little harder, fast, and instead of their pace that they want to be here. So look look for that to happen in this next half. So Turnstone Flyers are turning it on. We have other scores going around on the various courts here. On court number two, we have Dassa Moe Rush versus the Boston Breakers. Dassa is ahead 1-0 in the last minute of the first half. Dassa 1-0 against Boston Breakers. On court number three, we have the Northeast Passage Wildcats against the Ball State Cardinals. And it looks like the Ball State Cardinals are up against Northeast Passage Wildcats 2-0. And on court four, 
we have CY United versus Minnesota Shockwave. And if I can get looking around the camera here, the score is 1-0 for CNY United against the Minnesota Shockwave at the end of the second half. We're going to take a few minutes intermission here. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsors Biogen and MK Battery. This is Chris Finn and Devin Lyons signing off for a brief intermission. And we'll come back to you with Power Soccer Shop and the second half. Hello everyone, this is Chris Finn and Devin Lyons coming at you from the 2018 Power Soccer Shop National Tournament in Turnstone Center, Tur Fort Wayne, Indiana. And we almost got started with the second half. Referee didn't blow the whistle yet. Steve Everett was just anxious to get going and start that second half, wanting to take it to the Turnstone Flyers. Devin, what do you think 
the Southern California Vaqueros have to do here to get back in the second half? Just play aggressively. More than, more than what it were in the first half, I think they can do it here. Um, three nothing. It's kind of be hard to get back, but uh, um, at least they can try to. Yeah, here we go. Steve Everett starting the second half, moving the ball down court right away. Devin Dowling taking the ball away, moving it down court. Everett cutting off Dowling. Dowling still dragging it down court. Dowling working the ball against Everett down into the goal area. Cordona playing defense inside the goal area. It's a two on one. It's a two on one. Steve Everett with the goalie penny on is only allowed the two on one advantage inside the goal area. And he was just outside the goal area. So the referee called two on one against the SoCal Vaqueros. And here we have Devin Dowling with a really short range MK battery free kick here. If I, was, if I was David, sorry about that. If I was David, I'd shoot right to that gap. But we'll see what they rig up here. A two-on-one is an indirect free kick, so it does have to hit off of another person. Dave Dowling going across for a chance now. Now with the shot. Blocked by Kelly Wong. Bordran off of Steve Everett. Dowling over. Blocked again by Steve Everett. Going up course. Steve Everett driving the ball. Dowling looking to cut him off. Everett advancing the ball down deep into the turnstone flyer in. Everett over to Martinez. Martinez looking to cut the defense in half. Dowling intercepts the ball up to now. Dowling against Wong. Wong looking to keep the ball in the flyer area. But Dowling says, I'm not having anything of that. And moves it down back into SoCal Vaquero area. Back to Vordran. Vordran looking for a shot from about three quarters court towards half court and almost makes it. Kelly Wong again. Vordran taking the big shot. Kelly Wong deflecting it again. Stopping it. Cardona against Vordran. Vordran looking to pass back to Dowling. Dowling with the 180 into the far corner of the goal. Let's check out that replay. Vordran dragging Cardona around. Vordran looking to cut it back to Dowling. Dowling with a 180 kick right into the far post. Wide open, nothing that the SoCal Vaqueros could do on that one, Devin. Nope, not at all. It, it's one of those, you know, one of those you can't really do much of. We are at 4-0 in the 23rd minute of the game, and Dowling controlling the ball, looking to get it off of Wong. Wong gets out of the way so that they get a kick in here for the SoCal Vaqueros, looking to see if they can get muster any type of offense here against the turnstone flyers kelly wong against vordran vordran moving the ball up against wong wong pushing him over to the sideline but vordran moving that ball down the court off of wong for a kick in for kevin dowling and the turnstone flyers devin set us up here uh dowling is gonna try to pass the ball away across to uh his teammate number 13 chance now because there's a big gap wide open by him. Oh. And Dowling catches. Devin called it. There was a gap which brought Kelly Wong up off of the near post. And Dowling saw that gap behind Kelly Wong and just put it right inside that between Kelly Wong and the near post. It's a kick in is a direct free kick. It doesn't have to anybody else to go in into the goal. And David Dowling took advantage of that space, scored it direct on the kick-in. It was a short kick. It didn't go across like I was going to say, but there was both two gaps in, on the left and the right side of the goal. Looks like it's Southern Cal Bocaro's ball deep in the corner of their own area. Turnstone Flyers are looking to put some pressure again on the SoCal Bocaro's, keep running the score. Now it's 5-0 to zero in the 25th minute of the game. If if uh, Vaqueros have any chance to win this game, they're going to have to start doing figuring something out now because five, five, it's 5 nothing. If they go any higher, it's going to be out of reach for uh, Southern California Vic Vaqueros. Turnstone Flyers make a goalie substitution, bringing Luke Labas, number 87, out of the goal and putting him on the left wing and put... Vordran, Daniel Vordran into the goal. Turnstone Flyers get a two on one. 
free kick here. An MK battery for kick. Muklavas sizing up the defense. Looking for a big kick. Potentially across the now. There it is. Now just wide of the goal. Was able to was not able to redirect the ball back towards the center of the goal where the, the gap was. So now the Southern Vaqueros will have an MK battery goal kick. Looking to get the ball out of their area and create some kind of offense here. Short kick from Kelly Wong to Steve Everett. Luke Lava is battling against Everett. Lava is over to Dowling. Dowling dribbles past Everett. Kelly Wong cuts him off. Dowling patiently waiting for the time. Right opportunity to pass the ball. Working on Kelly Wong. Everett cutting off the near post. The ball is hanging on the goal line. Dowling just kicks it off Everett for a Biogen corner kick. As the ball rolls to the, uh, I believe, court four. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, court, looks like court three and an update on court three in the 26 minutes. The Northeast Passage Wildcats are losing to the Ball State Cardinals. 4-0. Ball State Cardinals on top with Luke Lavas taking the kick over to now. Goal! Chance now. Let's check out the replay. Luke Lavas setting up the corner kick, the Biogen corner kick, makes it all the way across. Right textbook into the far corner of the goal. Chance now deflects the ball. And Dowling added a little, little fake move there. Moving forward as if he was going to get the ball, but then allows the ball to go over to Chance now. Just capturing the defense's attention for a split second. Allowing Chance now to have that space in the far corner of the goal. So Cal Vaqueros Anelius up to Dowling. Off of Ornelas. Off of Dowling. Ornelas looking to take the kick in to Everett. Everett against Dowling. Everett turning the ball around. Dowling swinging the ball back. Dowling now controlling, looking for a pass. Dowling against Everett, patiently waiting for an opening. Allowing Everett just to touch the ball out of bounds, giving a kick in for the Turnstone Flyers. Down in the SoCal Vaqueros end of the court. Luke Labas with a textbook signature kick here, lining it up, sizing up the defense. Looking for Dowling. Dowling. Off the defense, over to Now. Now over to Lavis. Lavis back down to Dowling. Everett intercepts the ball. Lavis looking to kick it over. Everett deflects it out. Martinez over to Ornelas. Ornelas cut off by Lavis. And off of Ornelas. Turnstone flyer ball. Dowling taking the kick in. Lavis into Dowling. Dowling dribbling up court. Looking to split the defense. And does, allows. Everett, uh, referee is allows advantage for the two-on-one. Ornelas stopping Dowling just at the last second with Kelly Wong. And it's a two-on-one called because there were two non-goalie players in the goal area defending against one turnstone flyer, Dowling, stopping him from being able to score. Only the goalie is allowed that two-on-one advantage, the goalie and one other player. Steve Everett is the goalie, and he was outside the goal area. Kelly Wong deflects the ball out to Lavis and off of Lavis, out of bounds. So Calvin Carroll's ball, Steve Everett, passing the ball into Ornelas. Ornelas back to Everett. Everett going up the sideline. Looking to keep the ball off of Dowling. Dowling keeps it in play. Dowling off of Everett for the turnstone fire kick in. Lavis coming over, setting up quickly. Surveying the defense. Setting up for the kick in. Referee blows, blows the whistle for play. Lavas kicking it in right to Everett. Everett bounces out. Dowling puts it back in the goal area with a big kick off of Everett. 
And again, Turnstone Flyers have the ball in a little bit better position here at the top of the box. Labus looking for a kick. Looks like he's going across court. Dowling opens up. Oh! And there it is. Goal! Number seven for the Turnstone Flyers. Take us through the replay, Devin. Eight seven of Luke Labus. Does 180, passes it to his teammate, number four, David Dowling, for the score here. That is now 7 0 in the 30 minute mark of this second half. 7 0 uh, Flyers. Turnstone ju just is, keeps putting the ball down in the goal area, setting up those set plays, Devin. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The set plays is like a, like a jump ball, uh, basically. Um, you know, where the ball is, a, it's, at a, it's a dead ball. They set it to a, either a free kick, a goal kick, or kick in there for the Turnstone Flyers, and they're able just to execute their plays right right from those kick-ins. Right, right, right from them. Right now, Flyers are showing them, you know, who's, who, who it's, you know, they're, they're hard to beat right now in this tournament. As you can tell, the score is 7-0. And the 31 minute mark, they're just showing them how, I mean, how strong they are, how, how hungry they are, and uh, they really want this, trophy, this championship here. Luke Lava is kicking the ball in, Kelly Wong deflects it out for another kick in. Watch him do it again right here. Maybe do a little something different here. As you can tell, the goalie and his helper started going forward. Steve Everett deflects the ball to Martinez. Martinez deflects it up court for Dran. Makes a safe play. Atalabas passes it. Deflected over to Martinez. Martinez against Dowling. Martinez turning it up court. Dowling steals it away. Takes it up court against Everett. Dowling able to dribble down court. Everett doing his best to keep it in bounds. Dowling dragging him all the way towards the goal line. Turning it in. Dowling looking to get it off of Everett. And just was able to execute. Lavas over to now. Oh! Now just hesitated a slight second there on the pass from Lavis from Dowling. If he moved just that little second or two earlier, he would have had that ball in the goal to make it eight nothing. Everett over to Ornelas, back to Ornelas. Now stealing the ball away, taking it down the sideline. Everett cutting him off. Now looking to cut it back to Dowling. Dowling back to now. Now, towards the goal, Kelly Wong comes forward, oh, and leaves the near post open, goal! Chance now, kicks the ball up to Dowling, Dowling back to now, and Kelly Wong thinks he's going across to Labas, so he comes forward, leaves the near post open, and now takes advantage and puts it right behind Kelly Wong of the Southern Vaqueros into the near post of the goal for their eighth goal of the game in the 33rd minute. Everett over to Wong. Wong to Dowling. Dowling kicks it up to Now. Off Now, out of bounds. Everett kicking the ball in. Dowling cuts it off. Passes it over to, nope. Martinez trying to keep the ball away. Wong. Dowling off of Wong. Here at the 34th minute, second half, it's 8 0, even though our score on the monitor is 7 0. There we go, well, we've got that taken care of. Luke Lavis kicking the ball into Dowling. Dowling over to Lavis. Lavis taking it down the sideline. Ever cut him off. Off of Everett. Turnstone ball. Lavis taking the ball in. Looking to come over to Dowling. Dowling to Lavis. Lavis against Kelly Wong. Kelly Wong deflects it off of Lavis. Out of bounds. SoCal Vaqueros ball. We're in the 35th minute of the game. Here with Power Soccer Shop bringing you the action at the 2018 Power Soccer Nationals. Thanking our sponsors Biogen and MK Battery. Dowling kicks the ball over the goal area with a long shot. 
for a MK battery goal kick. As you can tell, uh, the, the Southern California Vaqueros are, is frustrated right now. They can't, it's like they can't get over that hump and score um, like they have been, you know, earlier this weekend. Had a few nice passes from the MK Battery goal kick. Steve Everett over to Chase Martinez, over to Kelly Wong, just not able to control it. Turnstone ball, give and go. Luke Lavis taking it up the court. Kelly Wong cutting them off. Luke Lavis able to get a little bit of advantage there. Looking to pass the ball back to Dowling. Dowling up court, takes a shot. Cardona cuts it off. Everett moves the ball, passes to Kelly Wong. Kelly Wong moving against Dowling. Dowling intercepts, takes it up court. Passes over, but Chase Martinez intercepts and kicks the ball out of bounds for a turnstone flyer ball. Luke Lavis setting it up, looking to take the kick. Takes a big hard kick right towards the near post. The SoCal Vaqueros have left the near post open a couple times here, Devin, in the, in the first and the second half, and Turnstone really looking to take advantage of that opportunity now. Off of Kelly Wong for a kick in. Yeah, once you see a gap open like that, a big gap, that's what they're looking for to, to go through there. Instead of having to, you know, pass each other, but but this game works in passing too. But if you do see a gap, that's where they're going to go for first. And if it gets shut down, then they have to do another Marti uh, pass. Martinez moving the ball down for the SoCal Vaqueros into the turnstone fire end. For the rare opportunity to get some offense here. Dowling able to steal the ball away. Everett over to now. Over to Martinez. Now looks for the cross court pass to Lavis, but unable to lead his teammate up far enough to catch the pass. Vaquero said a little offensive opportunity there, moving the ball down with Martinez, but unable to get it passed towards the into the goal area of the Flyers. Now ever deep in their end for the SoCal Vaqueros. Touching the ball in, dribbling the ball up court, only able to touch the ball once before another player has to touch the ball. He waited for the turnstone fire of Luke Lavis to engage, and then he engaged back, moving the ball across the court. Everett against Dowling. Dowling over to Lavis. Lavis with the spin kick. Everett cutting it off. Lavis again. Everett cutting off those spin kicks from Luke Lavis who's deadly with his powerful kick. They'll have another opportunity here on the kick-in. Lavis lining it up. Looking to go across either to Dowling or now. Over to now, now cutting it back. Back to Lavis, over to now again. Unable to control the kick and kicks it back out of bounds for a SoCal Vaquero ball. Luke Lavis and now interchanging a couple hard passes in order to move that ball and do their best to score a goal. Entering the 39th minute of the game here, it's 8-0. Turnstone Flyers against the SoCal Vaqueros. Dowling intercepts the pass, Cardona kicks the ball out, Dowling takes another kick, pass to Chance now and unable to catch up to it to attack the goal. This is now a goal kick. Uh, yeah, goal kick presented by MK Batteries. We have a good crowd out here all week, and uh, we still do right now. People like to see this fax action that Power Soccer presents to the world. Thanks for joining us on the live stream with Power Soccer Shop. Here we are, we're at the final minute of the MK Battery Court 1 with our other sponsor, Biogen, presenting Power Soccer with Power Soccer Shop on live stream. Turnstone Flyers against the SoCal Vaqueros. David Dowling driving with the Flyers down towards the goal. Cardona cuts it off. Everett helping out Cardona. Cardona just being able to keep the ball out of the goal area. Dowling kicks it off Cardona, and now we have a Biogen corner kick. When the Last minute of the game, Turnstone Flyers, Luke Lavis setting up for the corner kick.
Kelly Wong and Steve Everett in goal. Luke Alves with the kick to David Dowling. Dowling over to now. Kelly Wong intercepts the ball. Starts to dribble down the court. Challenging Dowling and dribbles out of bounds. Off of Dowling. And that's the game, folks. That's the final score. Eight to nothing. Flyers for now. And, uh, you know, another disappointed Southern California. It's disappointing, but, you know, they got plenty of games left. They can fix that up and, and still be in the hunt. Yeah, hopefully Southern California, California Vaqueros look to come back, bounce back from the game, and not get discouraged. Look, looking to see if they can get create more off of offensive opportunities. But the turnstone flyers just proved to be too much offense. They were so coordinated on their passing and their spacing for the SoCal Vaqueros, and countless opportunities on on the other end, and ended up with the score eight nothing. Turnstone Flyers against the SoCal Vaqueros. Where do you see the the Flyers going from here, Devin? You know, just have them, you know, keep doing what they're doing, with them being aggressive and going fast pace. Okay, so we have we ended up eight nothing here, and on court two, an update we have Dasa Mo Rush versus the Boston Breakers. 2-2 tie in the last minute of the game. So we'll see if we can get you a, a final update on that before the time is up. The score on court number four, CNY United four, Minnesota Shockwave one, and that game is over. Four to one for CNY United. And on court three, we had Ball State Cardinals beating the Northeast Passage Wildcats four to zero and that game is over as well so in the last minute of the game that looks like the referees looking at his watch it's 2-2 Dasimo Rush versus the Boston Breakers in a close matchup let's really look at that game watch that game now if they don't get if anybody don't get scored with before the time was up there they'll go overtime which is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is it 10 minutes, 5, or how do you want to? Right now we're in pool play, so the game will end in a 2-2 half, 2-2 game as the referee blows a whistle. Dasha, Mo Rush versus the Boston Breakers, and is in a 2-2 tie. In the knockout stage of the games, then we'll move into going into overtime periods to get a final result. This is Chris Finn and Devin Lyons coming to you live with PowerSoccerShop.com giving you the games on live stream with our sponsors Biogen and MK Battery. This is the 2018 U.S. Power Soccer National Tournament. Devin Lyons and Chris Finn signing off and we'll see you next time. We'll take a break for our next game coming up in just a few minutes.